Hi, it's Ali from Bell Street. This video is the first of many where we will take you through our whole process of making a custom wedding dress. This dress in particular had a much tighter turnaround than I would usually allow, but the bride happened to be marrying one of my oldest friends, so I was happy to do it. I also usually have a policy of not copying existing designs, but Holly had always dreamed of wearing this exact dress and it happened to be a dress that I really wanted to make. The red gown from Moulin Rouge. That we're we both very excited. <laughs> we're really excited to make this dress because we've talked about making it lots of times before. Because it is such a tight fitting dress and it's got very um, specific panelling in it, we're going to drape it on the mannequin, which Chloe has never done before, so we're having a pattern making lesson today. <laughs> First thing we need to do is get this mannequin to Holly's shape. So we take lots of measurements. We don't usually drape on the mannequin, I haven't done it for a while, but um, this dress calls for it. It's an adjustable mannequin. <laughs> I actually hate adjustable mannequins. <laughs> to get the shape of the top mapped out on this mannequin and we do that with tape or ribbon or whatever we have. So Holly found this very helpful thing for us. It's a 360 view of the dress we're making. Um, we just drape one side because then it's a symmetrical dress. People aren't symmetrical but we'll solve that problem in the fitting. And what you're doing, Chloe's going to take over because there'll be a customer here in a minute, you're just pinning it you're going to need a whole box of pins. Okay, just mapping out. Drawing it, yeah, on the mannequin with that. Okay. So we'll do the outer edges first and then you can do the panels. Mm -hmm. So we've got one, two, three, four, so eight panels in the front. Take it away. <laughs> do it! Just that looks like a thing. Sure. Thank you very much. It's looking amazing. So now we need to make a pattern out of this. Okay, how do we do that? We need calico scraps. Calico scraps. Calico scraps. Okay. Each one of these panels is going to be a separate piece of fabric and therefore a separate piece of calico. This is not a great way to start learning how to sew things. You really need to get across how flat pattern making works first before you move on to this, but Chloe's at that stage. I'm really hoping it's clear on camera, but we can actually see through the calico to where those white lines are. If you can't see through your fabric, you can usually feel it. And that is our first panel. So now we're literally just tracing the tape lines that we've made. And we're going to cut around it. You need to lead a little bit. Yeah. Anywhere that you end up with a curved seam, we're going to clip into the seam allowance. Now we repeat the process for every other panel. <laughs> you need to have notches to match up your pattern pieces. And so then when you're sewing, you know that they match up there. Okay, so we have draped and pinned all of our panels, numbered. Huh. Yep, now it's done. <laughs> we should be able to take it all off and come down. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yay! So that is our half a sateen bodice, and if you look at it inside out, it's looking pretty good. How exciting! Voila! That was super fun! That is our top, our next challenge. <laughs> the butt bow. Um, thoughts. <laughs> Circles! Yeah, it has a kind of bow look, which I love, but it's not a bow. It has that circular look. I think it's like an oval. Mm -hmm. And then... It has long tails. Um, I feel like the shape is kind of, at first I thought maybe it's doing this kind of shape and that's what's making that flounce, but it's not because it wouldn't do that if it was straight. Oh, so, so it would have to have another circle. And maybe it's a snaily it's shape. Just, that's going to be our first test. The tail yeah. is the spinny thing. Yeah. Where's the photo? Lumiere. Mm -hmm. Pretend to be a lady's butt. 
Bottom. 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 What else you got? So I think <laughs> next idea. <laughs> like that. That looks like that's a fold. Yeah. And that Is there's, that not a fold? Well, look from this angle. Ah. Oh. It doesn't really go anywhere, does it? Yeah. It might even go. But surely uh, it has to. Be it a could fold. go up. We've that looks almost. Like but yeah, it could be going up. Fold, 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 and then it turns into the thing. Like that. Yeah. Maybe we need to make a full scale. Yeah. One for the mannequin. Up on your knees. Show me your butt. So I reckon it has. I did that without even realizing. No, like you were doing. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, about thirty centimeters. I'm doing exactly the opposite of what Ali says to do when cutting. <laughs> I am cutting correctly. I am suddenly having doubts about this. Well, <laughs> me too. I'm just realizing how much easier it is to design the dress myself. I know. This is why I don't copy dresses. Okay, so it's like this. It's molded. It's like this. That. Oh, and what? That is Whoa. this part, and then that goes right. Whoa. Okay, yeah. so it goes there. So there's a... And then the other oh, part. I believe you Yeah. Maybe we do it? <laughs> why aren't we more excited? Am I looking at a wrinkle or is that a seam? That we're seeing right now looks like okay. Okay, yeah. I think that looks quite good. We only watched one song. We didn't watch Elephant Love Medley. Maybe there's a good. There's back. definitely not. I was made for love to you, baby. You were made for love to me. Oh, this is not high res enough. Ah. Uh, Maybe. Imagine if our shop was shaped like an elephant. Okay, it sticks out quite a lot of that. Why don't they make movies like this anymore? It's always like... Why don't we have fireworks in doorways? Okay, I don't think that helps with anything. Oh, okay. Black! Black! It's oh, not a fold! It's not a fold! So, okay. it is an edge. Uh -huh that's backed with black. Okay, so we're on the right track. Okay. We're doing well. How should we sit down in this? That's a little one. I'm really interested to see once we've like cut it all and marked it, what it's going to look like straight like, out. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's nearly perfect. We were pretty close. Yeah, that's not bad based on, see, I thought it just spiraled around itself. Yeah. But I think like it's looking like a kind of weird shape. I wonder whether the original shape was a circle. Okay, not an oval. Yeah. I can do it. Go all the way in one go. With the hand. <laughs> Twist the style. <laughs> Let's see if this has worked. I did like the other one. Okay. That's alright. Now we know it wasn't a true circle, it was an interesting oval shape. Oh. Polly's coming in tomorrow for her twirl fitting, so I need to make that twirl. A toile is just something for the customer to try on. It's usually made out of calico. I need to unpin all of this and turn them into pattern pieces. I know I just said that we make the toiles out of calico, but I don't think I have enough calico to do that. So let's go with a khaki green toile. So when you've got lots of seams close together, using a pressing hem is a really easy way to press them flat without disrupting too much of the rest of the garment. Now I normally wouldn't put boning in a trial um, because it's not really necessary, but because this is basically a corset, I'm just going to bone the whole thing, every single seam. Is the day of Holly's twirl fitting and 
we only have half a 12. That is not unusual for me. <laughs> this morning I need to whip up a skirt, also put together the frilly thing. Oh my goodness, I all the lines. Yeah. Oh. Um, took forever. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm doing the skirt today. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you like poke some holes through? Oh yeah, okay. And put some sort of lacing in there. I think this is too big for you. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool though. Pretty cool. Look at all the paneling. Oh. Also, I can like just knock on you. I know, I'm just <laughs> bite me. Trying the skirt on. Mm. So it's a bit coming from one point. Yes, yeah. that's my problem. Okay, I'm back staring at this spinning picture. Um, the skirt's so much fuller than I remembered. I kind of want to start again, but she'll be here in an hour and I don't know what fabric I have to use. Okay, I will start again. So you're doing the... Yes, the spirals. The spirally bit. I did these things and they look pretty cool. Oh, they do! Um, but I, I forgot how to fold it. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly too full, but that's a good problem to have. <laughs> but I think the front looks great. Yeah. Yeah, I've got 15 minutes, so <laughs> I am going to change the panels on that one. So now we've got two options. Yes. This is version two of version one. This is better, right? Yeah. We'll probably go with, I think, somewhere in between these two. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much time for the fitting now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is our first twelve fitting, looking super glamorous. Mm -hmm. We're not even going to try on that other skirt. This is, I think we've pretty much got it. Yeah, I love this thing. So we have made it longer, but with <laughs> masking tape for now, because that's <laughs> just a very quick, easy way to make a pattern on someone. Because now smart. I'll just be able to continue those panels with pen and cut them up, and yep. that's, that's our pattern. So so. Yeah, it's too big, but that's okay. That's a good, good problem. I think we nailed the... <laughs> Yeah, we got to give a name to this You're butt so thing. Job. So our fitting is finished. Yes. I know it's good. Yeah. yeah. She's happy. There's quite a lot of changes to be made, <laughs> yeah. but that's okay because this was the trial. Like yeah. that was expected. The stage where we make changes. I think the biggest triumph is we got the oh yeah butt <laughs> bit right. <laughs> right shape, amazing. I just right stop calling it the butt bit, but <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Hell yeah! <laughs> I've cut out the skirt for Holly's dress and now I'm going to cut out all the top pieces which just look like pointless little scraps. Definitely want to get those cut out before I accidentally throw them out. So this layer will make it comfy and cool, this layer will give it structure and this layer will make it a small and room room dress. That's a line from the movie. That's kind of a creepy thing to say about a client if you don't realise that it's a movie <laughs> reference. This is of course pieces of that first green twile that we made that have now been cut apart. I have a lot to do today, so let's get to it. I'm only halfway around. I don't even want to tell you how many hours it's been. It should be interesting getting this done. Finished. Together. 
try to keep things hanging as much as possible so that the wrinkles drop out. Now I've got to put some boning in this. I've appointed Chloe master of the plants because um, you did it on the tiles, so now you, that's just your job. Uh, what's the problem? Uh, yeah, we went to do this and Alex hasn't left me enough fabric. <laughs> so we have to piece it together. But, but we have so, I've left you so many scraps. I'm just, yeah. just gonna, I'm gonna go with what feels right. Sounds good. <laughs> Swipe. All right, this is our first fitting in the red fabric. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, it's looking really, really good. So we are going to make it a tiny bit shorter, just a little bit, it's looking good. Yeah, lower in the neck. Um, yeah, the thinner straps look amazing and yeah, there's just a lot of adjustment to do. I just really love these. these it looks so good, it's so smooth. Yeah. Like, I feel like I could throw things at you and you wouldn't feel it. <laughs> Not that I will, but you know. Um, yeah. Such a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, contain all the butterflies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Holly was really happy with that fitting, and I was really happy too. The fabric looks so amazing, and yeah, she looked really good in it. Her mum was very happy with it. We're all, we're all good. There's a lot of adjustments to make on the top, but that was pretty much it. So we have to shorten the front of the bodice, which means I'm picking and trimming back all of this boning. I'm just making some tiny skinny piping to go around the bottom, top and the armholes of the bodice. I've done that by cutting bias strips of the red fabric and then I'm just folding that over some very thin piping cord and I'm using the zipper foot to sew it in place and then I'll attach it to the top. Here's one I prepared earlier. I've done the piping around the top and bottom edges. Um, it'll have to be stitched back by hand, but it's a really nice, neat finish there. I'm gonna take a break from the top for a while and work on the skirt. It was a little big for her in the fitting, but because we like that full, lots of folds of luxurious fabric look, we're going to just put a pleat in the back. But first, zip. And look at this vintage zip I have. It's got um, a little wire hook and eye at the top built in. How good would it be if all zips had that? starting to come together, starting to look finished. Okay, this is our mm, last fitting. We've got the lacing in, it's looking good. Look at this, do this, <laughs> such a good, oh yeah, the top's amazing. <laughs> so still finishing to do, but I mean, happy. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, haven't been filming a lot because I'm very much in the hand finishing stage. The outside of the dress is pretty done. It fits perfectly, it's looking really good. Um, and now I just have to hand finish everything on the inside. So I've been hand sewing the hem and covering each piece of boning with this Petersham ribbon that should make it comfier for her. And I just tend to do that at home in front of the TV or 
when I'm playing with my daughter or when I'm working in the shop, just all the time. So that's pretty much all there is left is a lot of hand finishing and we need to bind the seams of the skirt, which we'll probably do tomorrow when Chloe's here because she's never done that before and I want her to see how it's done. Have a seat. You haven't set up the binding attachments before. So let's do it. Needle plate, bead dog, foot. Okay. <laughs> we are ready to bind. <laughs> 400 simple steps. <laughs> Incredibly hard to see with black. Ooh, that's so easy! Okay. Once you've set it up, it's easy. <laughs> ah, it's working! Mm -hmm. This is amazing! Okay, let's not Oh, why did I talk so soon? Okay. It wasn't working and we just don't have as much problem solving time with this project as we usually do, so I'm actually very proud of myself for giving up on the binding and saying, okay, that's not working. I need to just do something that I know will work. So that's why I'm overlocking them. I just finished the top. So happy with it needs its lacing but I will lace it up on her because she'll have hair and makeup and stuff. Look at that! Every seam is hand finished. I know, it's amazing. We are so close to finishing this dress. Um, the top is finished as you saw. The skirt has a, probably about an hour of hand sewing left in it but I have more than an hour before it needs to be done. I'm gonna redo the flounce. I just keep looking at the pictures and thinking it should be bigger. So <laughs> I bought more fabric and I bought some more organza as well to go in the middle to act as a bit of extra um, body. And I'm just gonna make it again, but bigger. I'm not gonna take these apart just in case we do need to use these, but um, yeah. <laughs> I could just finish early and like have a rest. That's not what I do. <laughs> I am also changing the shape a little bit. I realise this isn't the time for experimentation, but um, I am choosing to not listen to that voice in my head. time when I don't know the bread. <laughs> I'm at Ben and Holly's wedding. She's about to walk down the aisle. <laughs> together on custom wedding dress. As you can see there's a lot that happens between fittings and we're excited to show you more of what we do. There's a lot more of these videos on the way so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything.